uh, our war in South America is just about over. And hopefully... Ooh, let's get some atomic research. You go get him, George C. Lawrence. You'll, uh... You'll teach him what's what. So once we finish taking care of all these crappy countries, sorry for people, <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad because I know I got lots of people who live in South America who watch these videos. Your countries are not crappy, but uh, I'm just looking at, through the eyes of someone who would be fighting this war right now in real life, bro, because this is real life right now. This is, this is important stuff. Now. So many lives uh, hang in the balance. Oh, still no uh, movement here. So, looks like it's a stalemate, unless... Freaking hell. Are they even at war? No, they're not at war. That's why they're still alive. Okay. I was like wondering, I'm like, why haven't these guys finished them off yet? Now it all makes sense. them yet. No, I'm not going to be able to take it. Oh, we can annex them though. Everybody stop what you're doing. No. You don't get your white piece. Not after you took the friggin' Panama Canal. Maybe if you had invaded strategically important territory, maybe we wouldn't feel the need to annex you, Venezuela. Actually, that's not true. I would have annexed them regardless. Okay, well, let's take that industrial capacity and hopefully add it to our own. Though I don't think it's going to be enough to match the United States. Because their industrial capacity is continually growing. I do, however, if we needed to, we could probably annex the entirety of South America.
actually uh, probably strategically redeploy most of these men here. Good old Prince of Wales division. Organization not yet. Sure, we should probably uh, strategically, redeploy, uh, strategically redeploy most of these guys up here. But yeah, I feel like now that we have, uh, you know, these countries under our belts. And the power of the rest of the Entente, we might be able to defeat the United States. Though what I really would like is for the Pacific States and the American Union State to go to war. Then it would be a, uh, it would be an it would be a interesting fight. I like how their independence is guaranteed guaranteed by Japan. What the hell are you going to do, Japan? All right, war in Europe. How's it going? Oh wow. That's not good for the French. Not if the Germans were able to break through their central lines. Oh, well, there we go. It's finally happening. They're, they're gonna finish off Bulgaria. In a war together, okay, yeah. They're all looking for the final killing blow. Guys, hopefully smash. Uh, just a garrison division. Yeah, they'll sweep them aside pretty quickly. Uh, the French are slowly losing ground. Very slowly. Still not, not enough to make a decision on who's going to win the war. Oh, we still can't annex them. But our wars in South America are pretty much done. <sighs> I'll begin to rebuild what, had, what they had lost. And take it for ourselves. Because that's the kind of guys we are.
Oh, still can't annex them. Finally, it's over. Bulgaria is dead and gone. Annexed by Serbia. How interesting how these things sometimes work out. Are you really going to make me retake the Panama Canal? Come on, let me, let me annex, annex, annex. Crap, they're really gonna make me retake the Panama Canal. <sighs> okay. Where's my fleet? Yep, Germans are making inroads. It might all be over for the French. Oh man, that's not good. No, I'm not giving you peace, man. Well, at least not for the French. Oh, oh. I fought him back on the central lines. the hell? They took Jamaica? Oh shit. Um... Advanced computing, infantry... Good on infantry, let's actually upgrade our logistics. How are we doing on doctrines? Land doctrines, can't research any naval doctrines. Yes. Let's get to work on some of those. Yeah, we'll deploy them in a bit. Okay, that's Honduras. Looks they were just the same color as Venezuela. Okay, well. No, they're still gonna where is their capital? It's Panama Canal. Okay. That amphibious salt. Uh, why are you not doing what I asked you to do? Do it now, please.
Oh, you gotta be freaking joking me. Well, sorry, Panama. Well, I do have a very firm interventionist policy, and I'm very belligerent. This is not good. This is really not good. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Ask for military access. Well, because I'm getting a glitch. Here's what I'm doing. I am going to ask for military access. Thank you. Be base here. And we'll just take it by land. Because for some reason we can't declare war on them. We can't take it by land either. Okay, well, how the hell are we supposed to take it? Alright, well... Uh, Alright. You win Venezuela, we're just gonna have to make you a puppet state. You got lucky. Oh, because you took the Panama Canal. Alright, I'm seriously... Um, now I've got a Halifax garrison. Yeah. Oh, I'm seriously now garrisoning troops here. Nope, I can't even garrison troops there, because it's not... Alright, well... Looks like it's impossible to defend uh, the Panama Canal. So let's just hope nobody fucking takes it. Alright, well... The wars in South America are over. Alright, well, war is over. Now it's time to take what we have, or what we've gained, and uh, apply that to a future war. 
with uh, the United States, which may or may not happen next time, depending on how comfortable I feel. Anyway, where's my Atlantic fleet? Okay, it's probably transporting troops. So now, let's take our men that have won the battle for South America. We'll leave a token garrison there. Alright, well, for some reason I like the idea of Canada being the first one to research the nuclear bomb. Research those assembly lines once I get the opportunity. Because that'll e decrease our uh, production costs significantly. Once the standoff doctrine is done. could go either way. Uh, they've made some gains into German territory, but the Germans have also made some gains. Now well, it looks like Bulgaria has been divvied up amongst the alliance here between Serbia, Romania, and Greece. feeling like we should intervene and help out our allies in Delhi against the syndicists who are taking over India. We could use India in the coming fight. I'll see. But America is growing stronger by the second. Can I declare war on them? Yes, I can. Yeah, they're already 60 industri industrial capacity ahead of us. I don't know if our conquest is going to be able to make up the gap. <sighs> anyway, actually, let's, uh, before we go... Let's see how uh, the fight is going here. Well, it looks like it's about both sides are even in terms of how many men they're deploying. Although, France could be in real trouble here because it looks like most of their uh, forces are deployed in the north and they don't have anything defending down south. And if the Germans are able to exploit uh, this breakthrough, it could be curtains for France. Look at the uh, deployed infantry divisions here. Oh shit, they got two. If I turn on no fog and see statistics, 
Does it let me? I want to see land army comparisons. Oh no, that's my commanders. Actual army comparison. Oh, I do get to see. Wow, okay. Oh no. Wow, Russia has the most. So Germany and then France. And then, uh, Japan, okay. They got about ten more divisions than we do. I know this is kind of, uh, a little bit, uh, you know, gaining knowledge that I shouldn't have. But it's still interesting. I like to compare statistics and compare numbers like this. How far down in the National Army comparisons? Oh, the Pacific States. could spend a crap ton of money trying to ally them. I mean, I, I do have the power to continually throw money at them until uh, I can influence them enough to the point where they'll be on my side. So that's an option. Deciding how I'm going to do this, because I want to... Though I might backstab them later. Actually, I'll just take as much American territory as I can. I don't know if I need to own the entirety of it. Or do I? Am I going to be greedy? See, these are the time, kind of tough questions Hearts of Iron forces you to, a to ask yourself. I think I'm going to have to either wait until a point where they declare war by their own volition, or I'm going to have to throw money at them until they decide, hey, we'll be your allies too. But with that, it really is time to go. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Joseph Reese Run of Stalin. Signing off for now. I'll see you guys next time.